Okay, it's time for another video with me called Dude Clem. Well, I found a circuit on the internet for a base fed solid state Tesla coil, so I thought I'd build it up in my room, not expecting this thing to work at all. However, I turned it on, twirled this little variable resistor, and it freaking works. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. And here we are, we've already got breaker. I haven't even tuned this yet. Fluorescent light working. Compact fluorescent. And yes, we got a streamer. Alright, let me make sure my transistor isn't hot. There's a little bit of it's a little bit tiny bit warm, but yeah, it could run for much longer than that. Alright, I'm just gonna see if I can tune this now. Got my multimeter set to frequency counter. Let's see. Okay, we're about 5.9 megahertz. So let's see. Oh, right about there, I think. That's about 4.1 megahertz. Let's see if we can get just a little. Okay, there we are. That's really going there. There we are. It's about 4 megahertz. If it's hot at all, it's a little warm. Let's see if I can just squeeze a little more power out of it. Yeah, that's about right. There we go. I noticed there was a little tiny bit of arcing in my volt and my variable capacitor, but when I've got that at just the right frequency, that doesn't happen, so that's working pretty good. Okay, well just before my camera battery dies, I thought I'd go for audio modulation, so I've got this crappy Walkman here, and that is connected to the middle pin on the variable resistor through this capacitor here. And it does work. I have to really crank the volume up for it to, to be able to hear it, but let me just turn it on. Okay. And press play on this. And hopefully you can hear that. AC, DC, high voltage, perfect for this kind of stuff. Okay, I think that's enough. It's kind of weird. When I put my hand over this, it fades out a bit. I think there's a little bit of feedback going on there from the coil. Alright, let's just turn that off. Make sure it didn't get too hot. Mm, it's warm, but not really hot. Well, that was about 36 volts at about 4 amps, give or take. Now I want to experiment with this capacitor here just to see what I would get when I change that. So that's what I'm going to do now. After a little bit of experimentation, 20 nanofarads seems to be just about right. Now, I don't know what I just kicked over, but never mind. 
So, it's lit up the lights, and we got a little spark here. Very uh, intense spark, though. Let's see if we can make that a bit better. So, I suppose you want to hear audio modulation now. So, I'm not going to keep you waiting, so let's do that. It's also a lot louder now, so I'll just press play on my Walkman. Just need to adjust this. Okay, I won't play too much of that. Some song I found on YouTube. Let me just put this back to normal. And get it tuned just right. Now I just want to step this up just a little bit more. Although I'm not quite sure if it's going to be able to take it because this cool here gets pretty hot. And this one not so much, of course this gets pretty warm, but this, this coil here, that's just burning up when this thing is on. I don't really know why that one gets so hot. I mean, this gets a bit of hot, well, gets warm, but, yeah, this coil, it gets pretty hot. Okay, let's see how this handles a bit more power. Before I was using this transformer, but now, gonna use this one. Right, let's see how well this works. Let's see how well. A light comes on, but nobody's home. Come oh, on, you know you want to. That's more like it. At about 2 amps, let me just... Well, about 2.9 amps. Let me just adjust this for maximum output. Ah, oh, that's good. Like that. Well, if we could just do something about the wire melting, that would be pretty good. It's melted itself into a nice little ball. Shall we just have one more run? Before it completely melts itself into oblivion? Yeah, I think so. It seems to be a little bit reluctant to break out. This is on low power. Oh, that's quite a nice arc. Let's try that on full power. That's like a ZVS. Oops. There goes the wire. And here is the schematic for all of you who are curious. Now, I cannot take design for, I mean, I cannot take credit for this design because I did not design it myself. The only thing I changed was the audio, the way the audio modulation works, which is what I've done here. The original used this kind of circuit in line with the, um, between the negative and the power supply to do the audio modulation, but I thought it would work just as good as if I did that way, so... I've kind of got myself in a bit of a muddle there, but I'm sure you can get the gist of it. So anyway, there you go. Okay, well I've put some tin foil on the end of this thing now, so now 
we'll be able to get some nice, good shots. And we shouldn't have a problem with melted wire anymore. So there we go, there is my base fed solid state Tesla coil, and until next time, goodbye.